I'm not so sure about this. So what we're about to do, I don't think is going to be a good idea, but I don't know 100%. And you know that I love a little experiment and playing around in the garden. So let's head over to the garlic bed. Alrighty, so in today's video, we're gonna cover three things. First, when to be harvesting garlic, how to be harvesting it as the second piece, and then the third piece we're gonna to touch on is how to go about curing it and storing it. And now, I mentioned a couple seconds ago that I don't think what we're about to do is a good idea because what we're about to do is harvest one of these beautiful green garlic babies. And the reason why I don't think it is a good idea is because right now, it is about mid-June, right around June 15th. I've lost track of the days at this point. But in the past seasons, I haven't harvested any of my garlic until mid-July. So this is about a month earlier. And on top of that, there's two key signs that I kind of use to know when to be harvesting my garlic, and I have not seen them on these plants just yet. So we're gonna talk about those in a second, but first thing I wanna do here is harvest one of these heads of garlic to see where are they at, how are they developing. Oh baby, all right, moment of truth, here we go. And that is not what we're looking for. So, I mean, come on, we're hoping for more than that, right? And so if you find yourself with really beautiful, lush green garlic right now in June, be patient on when you go about harvesting it. And you might be wondering, well, when do I know that it's time to go about harvesting my garlic now? And so there's those two key pieces that I mentioned a little bit early on in this video that you wanna keep your eyes out for. And so the first sign is the garlic scapes. And so garlic scapes are going to come out of the top of your garlic plant. And if we left these on the plant, this is ultimately where the garlic seeds for future generations would be coming from. And it's a sign the plant is nearing the end of its growing time because it's now trying to put out its seed. However, this takes a lot of energy for the garlic plant to produce, and that is drawing energy away from the head developing beneath the surface, which is why on the garlic that I just showed you, it's still not even a head of garlic. And so as you see the garlic scapes emerging, what you're going to do is prune them off. And the good news with this is that they're absolutely delicious. You can use them in dishes. And if you wanna see a recipe on that, let me know down in the comments and I'll put something together. But what you're going to do is wait until it's done like a full loop-de-doo or a full kind of circle around. And then at that point, you're just going to chop it off of the plant using some pruning shears. And so once you've gone around the entirety of your garlic patch and you've removed all of the garlic scapes, the second sign that you're now waiting for are four dead leaves. So at the bottom of the plant, over the course of this final month of growth, they're going to slowly begin to die off one by one. And once you have those four dead leaves on the plant, it is the greatest day of the year, which is garlic harvest day. And that's what we're gonna to touch on next is how to go about harvesting your garlic. But just before we do that, for those of you that I have not met before, I'm Jordan from Mind and Soil, where we're looking to introduce a million individuals to gardening's mental health benefits. So if you're looking for more peacefulness, more joy, more restoration in your life, then I really encourage you to subscribe to our channel here because we put out multiple videos every single week trying to take as much of the guesswork out of gardening as possible so you can be spending all of your time getting your hands dirty and just feeling how calming and soothing the garden can be. So that next piece of this video is how do we actually go about harvesting our garlic? And it's really, really straightforward. All that you need to do is grab your hori hori knife and you wanna start maybe about three inches off of the stem and simply dig it deep into the ground, probably as far down as you can go with it. And then with your other hand, grab the main stem that's coming out of the soil and then pull on the stem at the same time of kind of levering it from beneath with the hori hori knife until you hear a pop. Now that is the type of garlic that we want to be harvesting this season. And so you're just going to go through your bed doing that on each and every one of the heads until you end up with a really beautiful, massive harvest of garlic, just like the one that I had last season. And once you have all the garlic popped out of the bed, the final piece is 
how do you go about storing it and beginning to cure it? And so with all of the garlic out of the bed, what you now want to be doing is allowing it to dry. And so we don't wanna be rinsing it, we don't wanna be washing it, anything along those lines. All that you need to do is put it into a dry location, such as in the garage or hanging it inside and allow it to air dry for about two weeks, 14 days. During this time, any soil that's on there is just gonna dry out and cake out. So don't feel like you need to remove any of it right after harvesting. And so after 14 days of allowing them to dry, either on some chicken wire in the garage or hanging them somewhere in your house, the last thing that you're going to do is chop off the necks of them. And so you want to go about one to two inches above the bulb. And all that you need to do is simply chop the entire top part of the plant off, leaving you with a beautiful head of garlic garlic with about a one to two inch neck on it. And folks, once you've got that done, pop them into your mind and soil worm casting seedling mix bag. It's perfect for storing them until you're ready to either replant some of the biggest cloves or eat them in some delicious meals over the course of the summer and into the winter. But folks, that's everything that I wanted to cover off on for today. I'm getting so excited to harvest this garlic and share some of the results of a couple experiments I've been running this past season that are really, really interesting. So if you do have any questions, leave those down in the comments. Other than that, folks, can't wait to catch you on the next video. Go get those hands dirty and I'll see you soon.